Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to boost FPS and improve your performance on Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1. So if you combine all of these tweaks in today's video, you'll have the best FPS possible that you can get on Fortnite Chapter 5. So please watch till the end of the video to improve your FPS on Fortnite and without any further delay now, let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so we're back in the video. So first of all, before we get into the actual tweak, I want to give a huge shout out to Chris Titus Tech for his amazing tool. So yeah, please subscribe to his channel for his hard work. The link will of course be in the description. So now let's just get into the tweak itself. Okay, first of all, click the link in the description and you'll be on this page. Now, what I want you guys to do is, as you guys can see, there's a command right here. All you have to do is copy it and then search up PowerShell. Click on Run as Administrator. Press on Yes. Then open your PowerShell. Now, what you have to do is just paste the command you just copied. So, just paste it and then press on Enter. Alright, as you guys can see, once I enter that command, this will actually open. So what I want you guys to do is just go over to tweaks. Okay, once you're in the tweaks section, you can do tons of tweaks yourself to improve performance on Fortnite and your Windows overall. But if you don't know what you're actually doing, what you have to do is just go to recommend sections. Then press on a desktop if you are on a PC. And press on laptop if you are on a laptop. So I'm on a laptop, so I just press laptop. Now all you have to do is just press on run tweaks. So yeah, just press on run tweaks and it will do all the tweaks automatically for you. You don't have to do anything. You just have to wait for it to complete. I have already done them, so I'm not going to click it. But yeah, just click it and then you'll be good to go. All right, now there's one more thing to do and that is to add and activate the ultimate performance mode. So just press on it and then it will add the ultimate performance plan and this will improve your performance drastically. Okay, so first of all, we will go over the Epic Games Launcher settings. So all you have to do is just go over into library and then go over to Fortnite and then press on the three dots, then press on options. Here, make sure high resolution textures is unchecked. And if you do not play Save the World, you can also turn this off. And also, if you do not play on DirectX 12, you can also turn this off. Finally, make sure to check disable cosmetic streaming to make sure Fortnite doesn't download and stream cosmetic items every time you hop in a game. This will greatly help you to reduce your ping and also make your ping more stable. Now all you have to do is just press on apply. Then just click on your username, go over to settings and then make sure minimize to system tray and run when my computer starts are both unchecked. Now scroll down and then make sure both of these notifications are also turned off. Then just make sure this additional commands is turned off as they actually do not do anything. They do not improve your performance at all. If you have previously added the commands from watching some other YouTuber, all you have to do is just turn this off as they actually do nothing. For the second tip, I'm going to show you guys the best Fortnite in-game settings. So what you have to do is just head over to your settings. Here, make sure window mode is full screen and VSync is set to off. Also, the FPS limit should be one setting above your refresh rate. So my refresh rate is 165. So I'm going to set it one above my refresh rate. So it's going to be 180 FPS. Then just press on apply. And for rendering mode, make sure it is performance mode. But you can also try DirectX 12 because some PCs actually give more stable FPS on the DirectX 12. And for AMD GPUs, this case is also more likely to happen. So you can try out DirectX 12, especially if you have an AMD GPU. So yeah, basically just play on performance mode or try out DirectX 12. In the graphics tab, make sure brightness is 100% and these are just personal preference. Now for the graphics quality, make sure everything is low. Some YouTubers tell you guys to decrease the 3D resolution, but honestly, even if you have a mid-spec GPU, it doesn't really increase your FPS even if you lower it. Since Fortnite is a CPU dependent game, you're mostly CPU bound more than GPU bound on Fortnite, so lowering this won't actually help a lot unless you don't have an actual GPU. If you have an integrated GPU, this might help, but yeah, honestly, you don't need to reduce this. Uh, because you are definitely CPU bound on Fortnite. Now just head over to the game settings, then scroll down and then make sure that Nvidia highlights and peripheral lighting is turned off. Then again, scroll down and make sure all the replays are also turned off. Okay, once you do that, go over to audio. And then for sound quality, you can try low, but it actually doesn't make a lot of difference. Some people say it makes a huge difference, but it doesn't really make a difference at all. So I recommend you guys to put this at high, but yeah. So yeah, that's basically it for the Fortnite in-game settings. You don't need to do anything else. There's no other way to get more FPS. Those are all the settings that you can actually do in-game on Fortnite. So yeah.
For the third tip, I'm going to be showing you guys some Windows tweaks that you can do to improve your FPS. So all you have to do is just go into your search bar, type in power, sleep and battery settings, press on enter. Once you're here on power mode, make sure it is set to best performance. Once that's done, what you have to do is just search up game bar, go to game bar settings, then make sure it is turned off. Then again, go to the search bar, type in game mode, then press on it. And then make sure game mode is turned on. Now on related settings, press on graphics. Then go over to change default graphics settings. And here make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. And this setting does depend upon PC to PC. So you can try turning it off and see if you get more FPS or if you get more FPS while you turn it on. So just mess around with it, see what works for you and then you'll be good to go. For the fourth tip, go back to your Epic Games Launcher, go into Library, go over to Fortnite, press on these three dots, go over to Manage, and then press on this file thing. Then go over to Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64, and then scroll down till you find this one, make sure it's the highest size one, then press on it, right click on it, and then go over to Properties, Compatibility, and then make sure Disable Full Screen Optimization is turned on, then go over to High DPI Settings, and then make sure this is turned on and it's set to application. Press on OK, press on apply, then press on OK. This will help you to lower your input delay and it also might increase your FPS. Okay, so the fifth tip is to update your GPU drivers. So even if you are on AMD or Nvidia, you can update your drivers. So yeah, if you are on Nvidia just like me, just search up GeForce Experience, press on enter, then go over to drivers. And if there is a new driver, just download it and then you can install it for the best performance possible. Alright, so the sixth tip is actually only for NVIDIA users. I'm just going to be showing you guys the best NVIDIA settings. So if you are on AMD, skip this part. So all you have to do is just right click, press on show more options and then go over to NVIDIA control panel. Okay, once you're on NVIDIA control panel, just go over to manage 3D settings and you'll be on this page. Okay, if you play Fortnite and other FPS games and don't really play single player games, you can change the settings on global settings. But if you guys actually play single player games and change these settings in the global settings, this will actually affect your graphics fidelity on the single player games too. So what I recommend you guys to do if you play single player games is go to program settings and then do it manually for every game. So Fortnite, as you guys can see, these are the best settings that you can do to get the most FPS possible. So copy all of these settings. You can also do them on the global settings settings but if you you know play single player games you can do it on you know program settings you can set it for individual programs so yeah just copy my settings and then once you're done just press apply and then you can close this tab all right so those are basically all of the easy tweaks to boost your fps in the new fortnite og season also i have found it easy to install and safe software that does a lot of tweaks automatically and is also free so if you want a video on that let me know in the comments down below so i will see you guys in my next video peace